Hey, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's orphan video, we're gonna be talking about Harrow. So, yeah, I know I'm a bit late to the whole rap, tap, tap party, because I was busy analyzing how an autistic kid can connect to a person through a fidget spinner, okay? That's, that's the whole entire... Chains of Harrow Quest summed up for you right there, okay? An autistic kid trying to connect through a person through a fucking fidget spinner. Okay, with that out of the way, first of all, let's talk about Harrow's abilities. So, the first ability is called Condemn, and it basically unleash unleashes a bunch of chains that can stalk the enemies to the ground. So, the enemies won't be able to move, and you will gain overshields by using this ability and the overshield cap is doubled which is also the passive ability of Harrow. Next let's move on to the second ability which is called Penance. It basically sacrifices all the shields and you can heal yourself while also uh, increasing your fire rate as well as your reload speed. So that's pretty uh, interesting and as well this can work with allies at the same time. Durable. Now, this is basically Trinity's, you know, Trinity's energy, energy regeneration, and Covenant basically gives you increased critical chance and everything. Now, let's go, uh, let's go a more detail, let's go into the detail part about the ability. So, as you can see, you can chain the enemies to the ground, then you can, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, is this, is this a fidget spinner? You can roll your little fidget spinner, then you can uh, kill the enemies, and with with each headshot you're gonna get like I don't know a lot of energy back so if you kill the enemies that's fine but if you kill the enemies with headshots you're gonna get a much more range of energy back and this is how penance works you sacrifice your shields you kill the enemies and you get a bunch of your health back as well it as well at the same time your fire rate increases by a lot and when I mean a lot I mean a shit ton, okay? Your fire rate basically increases by a shit ton, as well as your reload speed uh, is is greatly, you know, it's greatly, I, I don't know, the reload speed, just it's just amazing. So Penance is a great ability. Now let's move on to the final ability, which is of course called uh, Covenant. Is it called Covenant? I, 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 don't, I don't fucking know, but, but yeah, yeah. What this does is that you basically unleash yourself and you get to inflict, you, you, ta you take all of the damage and it increases your uh, critical chance by 50%. But if you land headshots, you get a bonus 200% critical chance increase. So as you can see on the screen, it's, uh, it it's, it's pretty beautiful, right? The red crits are pretty beautiful. So let's get into the build. I added energy siphon as my aura. Redirection for some shield, of course, because Harrow is basically a shield-based frame. Then I have Vigor, which also increase my, increases my health and shields at the same time. Now, you can add a primed Vigor if you want to, and this build is going to be a zero for my, and I'm going to be talking about the build in a bit as well. And Streamline, that's my personal preference. If you don't want to add Streamline, that's completely fine. Then, of course, the, a must-need a must need mod is going to be Primed Flow. You have to add primed flow because Harrow is a very energy hungry warframe stretch for some range because you want to help your allies vitality that's very basic narrow minded duration duration is definitely needed on Harrow prime continuity for some duration as well so that's going to sum up my build now let's get to how you can play as Harrow Harrow in my opinion is one of the most diverse frame that is available in the game right now all of his abilities are basically combining a, a lot of abilities together. So if you want to play Harrow, you you just can't spam one ability and be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, you know? I, I can play Harrow spamming one ability, which you can, which you can, I'm not saying you can't. You can't spam Condemn over and over and over and over, just chain the enemies to the ground, just chain the enemies to the ground, do whatever the fuck you want, you know? But... The real part of playing Harrow is actually, like I said, using and combining all of the abilities that you have. Suppose you can chain the enemies, then you can get headshots, 
which can regenerate your energy. Then you can chain the enemies again, get your overshields back. Then you can repeat the process. And if you run out of health, right? If you run out of health, you can use penance. You can sacrifice all of the shields that you have gathered from chaining the enemies and you can heal yourself. So if you guys look at it, he is a running tank. He is basically one of the very best tanks that is actually available in the game right now. But the fact is a lot of people don't like him or I'm not saying, I'm just saying I, I've seen a lot of people hating on him because you just have to be sort of, you know, quick. Now Warframe is going to be a fast paced game. You know, so it makes sense how all of the abilities combine with each other. And it, it it's amazing how how they have designed the frame. And I really do love the aspect of getting headshots and everything. Now you, you might be saying, oh man, getting headshots is like really fucking hard and shit. Oh don't 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 fucking lie, man. Why well, you gotta lie, man? You can just take a Tenora and you can get a bunch of headshots with a Tenora. Or hell, you can take a Pendero and get a bunch of headshots with that. And you can chain the enemies to the ground. That basically means the enemies are stuck, so you have no reason to complain. Now, let's talk about the build a bit. So, why did I choose efficiency? Now, if you guys know me, I am a guy that basically loves to, loves to spam the abilities and shit. So, 135, 130 efficiency, that's pretty much fine for me. Now, let's talk about the range a bit. I have a stretch on, so if you add narrow-minded, you are going to lose a bit of range, which makes a lot of sense, of course. Now, you want to help your allies with penance and also with thurible, right? So, that's why you need a lot of range, which is actually really good. So, you, that's why I added range for this build. Now, as for a forma, of course, you can add a forma uh, to mi mix and match your playstyle, I guess. So that's pretty good. And uh, the way to play Harrow, in my opinion. Chain the enemies to the ground, get that overshield, use Thorable, use the final ability, ability to get, uh, get that extra crit chance at the same time. So Harrow, in my opinion, Overall is a very good frame. I am absolutely loving him and this is what I, this is what I'm looking forward to, you know. A lot of Warframes that are coming out are basically synergizing abilities that are pretty interesting. So I am really looking forward what DE has to offer us in the future with uh, frames like this and everything. So Harrow in my opinion is a very good frame. He's a pretty solid frame if you know how to play him as everything is in Warframe. So yeah, Harrow is a very good frame in my opinion, and I'm loving him. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hope you all have a great day.